Everyone at Shell C from Paper Rock TO Studio. And today I'm sharing with you a art journal page that I made for the first month of the Canvas Court brands. That's uh, Seven Gypsies, Tattered Angels, and Canvas Court Palm Basics. And this is a traveling journal. So this journal will be traveling around the world, getting pages put into it by different people, all using the Canvas Court brand umbrella products. So once my page was gessoed, I am starting to do some collage. These are some lyrics of the song Love Potion Number 9, which has the most recent incarnation of it, I think, has been by the White Stripes. Before It's been covered by a million people. It's an old song, but it's funny. It's about this guy who goes to a gypsy because he's not doing well with the women, and he gets a love potion, and then he just starts kissing everything in sight and um, ends up kissing a cop and getting his potion bottle broken. So I'm using this um, vintage flask looking potion bottle which is an architectures by the Seven Gypsies brand. This is a new type of a dimensional realistic looking sort of a sticker that uh, is new this year. The whole, there's a whole line of them and they're very unique and different from anything that you might see on the market. And so I wanted to use it as my potion bottle, which is what made me, when I saw that, um, it's what made me think of the page concept. So I am going to collage on this tissue paper and um, I'm just doing it randomly, kind of keeping in mind my layout and I keep putting things back over it and then taking them off and putting them back over it just to kind of add some some interest and depth to the background and then um, then of course I'll be putting on the lyrics I'm also adding a few pieces of map paper uh, for all my pages this this year and I'll be making one each month you'll be see it, seeing a video like this each month um, working in all these different people's journals but all basically the same size which is an 8 by 5 journal which makes it a 10 by 8 page. Um, I'm gonna try to include map paper just because I think it's kinda cool that the journal is traveling around and going here and there and the idea of the map paper just kinda brings that to me but hopefully I'll remember that next month when I get my next journal to work in. So the next thing I'm doing is adding some baseboard mist colors starting out with ivory and then um, moving on to this sprout color. The baseboard mists are a opaque or semi-opaque, mostly opaque mist that doesn't have any shimmer in it. A lot of the Tattered Angels um, mists have shimmer. These do not. They're flat and I actually prefer that so I, so I got a whole bunch of these recently um, when I got my, my new kit for the year. This is what I ordered was lots of these baseboard mists. So I'm using different colors. Um, in some cases I'm using a little bit of water to dilute and help the mist spray, uh, spread out. And I've just got some different colors that I'm adding just to add a background. Um, the ivory kind of did, took the place of what I would do with gesso, which is to kind of push everything back into the background. And then I'm adding colors and splatters, either spraying or else taking the little plastic thing out and flicking it to make splatters. Um, all the materials that I'm using, all the colors and things, I will be put in a list down below the video with links so that you can find them. Um, they're all going to be Canvas Court brand type products. so. That's where the links will go to. So then I have torn out my lyric page and I'm giving it the same treatment with the different mists and you know splattering and spraying, um, making it look similar to the background as well and giving it a good dry. And then I take some archival ink and a script stamp and just start adding a little bit more interest to the background using some stamping. I'm also going to use a heart-shaped stamp as well. These stamps are both from Stampin' Up! and they're old. Who even knows if they have them anymore? But They're ones that I like to use to just add interest without adding a focal point. Just 
you know, stuff in the background. And then I use the ar archival ink around the edge of the page as well to create a border because I like things to be enclosed in. I think I like boxes <laughs> and even rub it around a little bit. It catches on some of the collage and makes like little marks, brown marks. So the color is potting soil, which is a dark brown color. And then I use a finger dauber and the potting soil ink to go around the edge of my lyrics, kind of make them look old and worn, maybe a little burnt. And then I attach those using matte medium. This is a liquid matte medium. Um, on thin papers I generally use liquid and on thicker stuff I use my gel matte medium. So you'll be seeing me using that later to attach the lace. So once I'm happy with my background and making sure that everything is stuck down real well, I give that a good dry and then I'm going to put on this piece from an ephemera pack. I'm not sure which one, but I thought she kind of looked a little bit like a gypsy and you know the guy went to the gypsy to get the love potion and then it also has uh, $6.95 as a price on there so I thought that I would use that on my bottle as well and I end up adding a little tiny tag to the bottle that says $6.95 at some point. I also tried cutting out a heart out of the backing of that architecture's um, the leftovers which kind of has like a purpley pink marbled finish on it and I'm, I cut out a little heart and added it to the page and then I used some of my baseboard paint and painted just the the open section of the bottle so that it looked as like it has pink potion on the inside of it and then eventually I will add the words love potion number nine before I do that I'm apparently sticking down this uh, ephemera tag that has the lady on it it's cardstock weight, um, an ivory cardstock weight tag. Pretty sure it comes in one of the ephemera packs that um, Canvas Corp Brands has, but I'm not exactly which one. I'm using some, uh, what's this stuff called? I would call it Crystal Effects, except for it's a different brand. It's the Mod Podge brand of dimensional clear glue that you can use as a um, a sealer over the top as well. Oh dang, what's it called? Anyway, I end up putting it over the entire area and making it all shiny and then adding some Stampin' Up! light pink glitter over it. So the bottle is filled with pink glittery potion, which is the love potion number nine. And I put glitter on the little heart that I cut out as well. To finish up the page and make everything be more cohesive, I'm adding some Stabilo All Pencil and blending it out with a water brush. And I'm doing that around the stuck on pieces like the potion bottle and the, the ephemera tag. This helps the page look more cohesive by making it appear as though it's blended into the page and it's a part of the page but also get highlights it and makes your eye be caught to it as well so it's a good thing to do if you're sticking things on other things in a collage type of a manner you can uh, use just a regular watercolor brush you don't have to use a water barrel brush if you don't want to then I have this piece of lace that came in a scraps pack from Canvas Corp Brands that came with my order and I'm going to attach that kind of at a diagonal across the page using the Liquitex matte gel medium which is a thicker thicker glue that helps me stick on something like this which would be difficult to stick on otherwise. So I put that down with a palette knife and then squish the lace down into it so that it really gets stuck down well. And then I'm going to add some more splatters and different details around here and there. And, uh, oh, I did add some of the baby pink over the, the lady on the tag as well. But basically I'm just finishing up at this point. The page is done. I'm just adding bits and bobs and splits and splatters and things like that. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and watch out for uh, a monthly page for the Traveling Art Journal. That's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.